right, well, shut and lock the door, draw the curtains, and <laughs> set the mood. It's time to masturbate once again. <laughs> yeah. My name is Joe Hawk, and with me for this panel, we have the lovely Chasta. Hello. Just the Hello. handsome Stephen Kirk. Stephen. The amazing Morris at what Brother up, F. What Knight. What up? <laughs> and the incomparable Baby Huey. Baby Huey. Yeah. Yeah. What's going so, on? But let me set the tone for this mass debate. You're at a concert. You spent way too much for your seats. <laughs> and about four or five people in front of you have their cell phones up recording the entire song. What are your opinions on this situation? Should people just put the phones down, be in the moment, or should they go ahead and record the moment, the entire show, or maybe a couple songs at a time? Chasa, you can go ahead and start. Well, as much money as I spent on this ticket, the person next to me spent the same amount of money. So mm -hmm. why can I tell them what they can do with their experience that they paid to be at? I am fully a filmer. I won't film the whole thing because my arm gets tired and I don't need the whole thing like that's dramatic um, but I will my favorite song I will capture and people mm -hmm. are always like you never go back and watch that you never yes I do yeah. I actually <laughs> do and I'll give you an example of one I'm so glad I filmed the show I never could have thought would have been his last show Prince Oh, I have yeah. so many of Prince's last performances in the Bay in my phone, and I treasure them. In fact, I reshare them almost every year when they pop back up. Uh, Blackberry Smoke, being front and center. I could touch the microphone. All that's in my camera. Those are treasured memories for me. So yeah. I am fully behind it. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your experience. However, I do have a funny story. So I was at the whiskey <laughs> one time, and I'm with my dear friend Carol, and we're rocking out. It was the Stateland Empire show. And this, <laughs> this woman... Pulls out an iPad and puts it up, and it's, no, it is a didn't. it is oh, a my God. an iPad in front of my face. Oh, and I'm my watching God. Stateline Empire through an iPad, and I'm like, okay, that's funny. I have a picture that Dennis can float that's in here. That's hilarious. It oh. was hysterical. So it was a running joke for Carol and I for years and years after. It was so absurd. I have seen people with, with tablets before. I mean, it's, it's, it's like, nuts. come on, it's that, ridiculous. That's extreme. Yeah. I actually did a a meme with something like that because there's somebody holding up an iPad, and then I put a little bullseye with a beer cup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because that's, that's that's where I'm going right yeah, there. Yeah. See, here's my thing, and I think it, maybe it's a generational thing. Uh, we'll see as we get down the panel here. I don't like it. I, mm. I want to see the band. I came here to see the band, not to see your phone. And me, being fun-sized, you know, if I get... <laughs> I, I get I get some six foot motherfucker standing in front of me. I can't see a thing. And I do you feel attacked right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no offense. You know. Should have bought a better seat. Yeah. <laughs> It, it, He's practiced it, that. He it, it, said that before. Unless I'm in the second row, there ain't no better seat because I'm still going to have somebody yeah. standing in front of me. You know, I went to the to see the, uh, the Jim Ursay collection, yeah. the, the big concert and everything. And, the, and Jim Ursay spent almost $4 million buying David Gilmore's Black Strat. Mm -hmm. And for this, for this concert, they got together and they played Comfortably Numb. Mm. And they had this laser show going. It was, it was like back in the old days, going to the Laserium, you know, to see Pink Floyd. And I had these two idiots sitting in front of me, husband and wife, and I knew that because of the conversation through the whole thing. And they both not only had their fucking phones up. Guess what? You guys live in the same place. You're sitting. <laughs> you know, if you were here and you were here, I could understand different angles and all that right. sort of stuff. You guys are going to the same place. You could sit. My whole thing is it's the experience. You are there to experience. I want to be able to sit back and I want to be able to enjoy. I want to be able to experience that light show. I want to be able to see the guitar player playing. I want to be able to have the whole thing. And I don't have that when I've got this whole army of people standing up in front of me. Okay, but question. What if there are no phones directly in front of you? You and I are third row and there's no obstruction to your view, but I'm sitting here with my phone because I'm that person. Is my phone here bothering you no, there? No, absolutely not. Okay. And that, and where, Chester? Here. Yeah. yeah. Yep. No, absolutely. Yeah. Right? But it's the people that stand up in the middle and they're like It's this. the iPad people. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. It, or, or, just people. The, or just the cell phone people. I think, me personally, right. I think you should be there to enjoy the moment. You know, and there's been a lot of talk just over the past, you know, like a couple of decades when everybody's going to their kid's soccer game yeah. or whatever you're doing and you're, you're looking at it like this. As opposed to looking at it like that, as opposed to experiencing that moment. Music is to be experienced. You but know? That to me is part of the experience. You but know, I get to I, experience it over and over. Are you experienced, Steve? <laughs> you, you know I am. <laughs> but, but first. But first. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now, I, w- I will say that I, because after seeing that that Jim Ursay experience, uh, Pete Wolf was there from Jay Giles Band. I've never seen a Jay Giles Band before, and it was great to be able to share it with Dennis, for instance, because I wanted him to see how awesome Hypocrite! it was. Hypocrite! Sorry. No, no, no. no I, I, I said that. I started off by saying, but, you know, and, and uh, a handful, like a decade ago now, I saw uh, Tears for Fears for the first time, and it was Jimmy Kimmel was doing one of his outdoor concert things. Oh, cool. And there was some guy that was behind me, and he had his phone up, and, and it was 1080p. It was beautiful. And here's me in the frame. And I'm kind of like, oh, there's me watching that, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so I... I get it, Mm -hmm. but still, for me personally, I want to be able to experience. I want to soak it all in. I don't want to watch it on somebody else's phone in front of me, Mm -hmm. but that's me. Mm -hmm. Morris? Yeah, pretty much what uh, what Stephen and Chasta said. Yeah. (laughs) Really, I mean, I don't know what else I can put on that. I I am going to have my phone there. Um, I'm going to grab a couple of tunes at the most, uh, maybe my favorite one. A couple of seconds of a couple of few of, of, of the rest of them. I won't. I'm not that guy that's going to stand there with my phone the entire show or anything like that. I my favorite song that I really want to capture and hold on to. I'll get that song and then I'll put it away. You know, and I notice that's kind of what's happening. There's a lot of popcorn phones mm-hmm. popping up, doing mm-hmm. the same kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, funny what Chasta was saying. You're never going to watch it. Yes, I am. Yeah, all like, the time. On my way home. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep. Brad. Oh shit. <laughs> yep. You know, and then and then be able to relive the memories. And it's funny because when I posted posted on YouTube. It's funny because people really enjoy it. And I get all these comments. And I don't do it for that reason. But people are like, man, oh, this is a great post. Thank you for sharing. People this, that this, can't that. afford maybe. Can't yeah, afford to go to that show. Would never be able to go to that show. Right, right. And you got that song. And, and and you know, I I try to be mindful. I try to be polite. I think there's going to be, maybe it's already there. There's a, there's a polite middle ground that you know, hey, you know, be considerate to the folks around. If you're going to get a few seconds, a few minutes, go ahead and do that. But, you know, know, know where you are. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, Huey. Oh, okay. Huey. I'm I know. dying Huey. to hear what Huey has to say. You need to defend this. First off, unfortunately, I'm not fun size. I'm the whole candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, he's, king, he's king size over here. <laughs> the yes, the I am very much guilty of filming at concerts. I love doing it. But yes, I'm with you guys. I think there's a balance. I am. I do get annoyed people who film the whole show. I'm like, they, they're they filming and they're staring through their phone, through the stage. I'm like, you're, you're better off just buying a live DVD and just watching mm-hmm. it from yeah. home yeah. at that point yep. or stream it from home. Uh, but still, uh, but for me, I'm with with Morris, I will film my favorite songs, but since luckily I'm tall enough, I could still put like, I could stand, <laughs> stand straight up, yeah. have the phone under my chin and I can watch looking at the stage yeah, through yeah, my yeah. eyes, but I'm documenting under my chin and luckily it's high enough. So when I go back and watch it later, it's still great quality, great angle, all that stuff. So luckily for me, I, I do have that happy balance. But yes, I, I do get annoyed people who film the whole show. But yes, film a couple sh- songs. That's great. Put on YouTube. I do think of the, the 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 kids and people in the like different parts of the country who can't watch the show or that tour doesn't come to their part of the country. They can watch that stuff uh, on YouTube later. Um, you think about like for me, like back in the day, I used to buy bootleg Green Day VHS yep. concerts because I wasn't yeah, there. Bootleg. I wasn't old enough, but that was back in the day <laughs> where people would, high school. Yeah, would, would film stuff <laughs> and put it on and I could watch it later. I wasn't old enough or, or could afford going to that concert. But in, so in today's world, it's kind of that same thing. I think of the young kids who want to see their favorite bands but can't afford the $300 ticket. So they'll watch it on YouTube after the fact. So I'm doing it for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. And I'm also doing it for the for gram, the, kids, the, yeah. the gram, yeah. the YouTube, all that yeah. stuff. Well, it is part of your job. I want to point. Yeah, that I out do. Too. Yeah, yeah. True, yeah. everyone know. else relies on me to get that stuff, which now. is true. You have the hype. My yeah, exactly. exactly. All, right. all right. Well, I'll tell you what. If it's going to be a free for all out in the audience, then we're going to go all uh, Woodstock on stuff, and I'm going to yeah. get up on your shoulders. And just like every great mass debate, we got to pull a stranger. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I came into this very strong about no cameras whatsoever and then you guys start, start kicking facts and knowledge <laughs> blah blah start talking and it's like okay because I, th- I think about some concerts that I went to back in the day and you think about performances that you've seen and the memories fade mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know it's I, I you know I saw uh, uh, Dylan in the Dead mm-hmm. back in the day wow. at the Oakland Coliseum I saw Prince Purple Rain Tour in the Cow Palace and I cannot remember one moment mm. of those concerts and 
now that you guys are talking about it, it's just like, wow, would I love to be able to relive some of those songs from back in the day? And it's like, so now you got guys totally got me flipped. I will not be holding up my camera at any concerts, yeah. but I will, maybe I will. I don't know. You'll judge less. Yeah, yeah. I, I will. I'll yeah. definitely judge less. But <laughs> one thing I just want to say that I hate is when I go to concerts in the park yeah. in Redwood City and there are people Redwood. with cameras filming the tribute bands. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, w w what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. It just it, it just seems really odd to me. Yeah. You know, but uh, I don't know. People, you know, it's like, do you really need to relive this tribute band playing 25 and 624 by... The <laughs> Chicago yeah, Land? I don't, I don't, I don't but I do know. get annoyed with people Although who I are, did do that, Joe. Because uh, <laughs> the horror section was on point. Attacked. <laughs> who are filming me. Yeah, so like, <laughs> like, I'm trying to be respectful of everyone around me and not have my arm and uh, phone blocking their view. So, like I said, I try to keep it in front of me. But yes, the people who are like wailing their arms around, <laughs> having the iPad. I've seen the iPad people filming stuff. It's yeah. ridiculous. I actually got called out once. Steve Harris, Iron Maiden. Mm. Oh, I, he? I, he, him personally yelled at me. I was I saw their show at Shoreline. Like, oh, I, got yelled at I, I, I was at Shoreline, and my buddy and I we had front row tickets off to the side, and I'm filming part of their set. I'm like, this is awesome. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm never this up close. He comes over, he's playing bass, and he looks at me, and I'm reading his lips. He's like, put your effing phone away. He's like, I'm like, wow. I got yelled at from Steve yeah. Harris from Iron Man. Yeah. Can I have awesome. the camera? This is awesome. <laughs> what about his signature bass right now? But then also. And I got it on film. I, yeah. But yeah. I also, you know me, I love Billy Joe Armstrong. He's been very vocal on stage telling people, put your phones down, especially when they do like these little surprise secret shows, small venues. He's like, put your phones down, live in the moment, enjoy it. I get it, but that is also, I think, an old school mentality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If he was, no yeah, I'll try not to take if that. He was, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If he, he's coming from a, he's an early fifty year old guy now. If he was in his twenties right now, it's a different generational thing. People now want to document all that stuff. Excuse me, Billy. Joe, you've been to all the Green Day shows. I have oh, oh. I, well, okay, okay. We we are over time, but Doctor no, Bear, I cannot, is his I cannot final let thought. this go. There should be no filming because y'all should be dancing your asses off. Thank you very much. And on that, I am Spence. Give us your opinions in the comments below. You're watching Soundwaves TV. Awesome. The one thing I want to point out is the one guy that you can never watch his videos because he sings over them. Oh. <laughs> this guy. This guy. Oh, that's another debate, bitch. I did. You'll have a great video and you'll go to watch it on Instagram and you're like, fuck. Thank <laughs> you.